Welcome to the Sustainable CT Actions and Impact Preview for the month of July 2024. Brought to you in part by our good friends, the Connecticut Green Bank. Remember, the Connecticut Green Bank confronts climate change by increasing and accelerating investment in Connecticut's green economy to create more resilient, healthier, and equitable communities. And we are oh so glad they do. Visit them at ConnecticutGreenBank.com. Our French is a little rusty, qu'est-ce que c'est? And our synchronized swimming could use some work. But our very own Olympic Games are taking place this summer, guiding sustainable CT registered towns toward achieving bronze, silver, and gold in 2024. Our fellows are in top form. Our equity coaches are bringing years of experience and winning strategies to bear. And this is the time of year when cities and towns across Connecticut can take full advantage of our no-cost assistance programs to ensure certification success. Start with our Municipal Energy Benchmarking and Tracking webinar on July 10th. Don't miss the Yukon Technical Assistance for Brownfields webinars on July 10th and 19th. And this month's Coffee Hour covering all things certification is on July 18th. That's a main event. So leave the synchronized swimming to others and meddle in something truly impactful this summer. We'll recognize your achievements at our annual award celebration in the fall. We'll even sing an anthem for you. If you have questions about our fellows, equity coaches, or any of our no-cost assistance programs, don't hesitate to ask info at sustainablect.org. In Elements this month, the coffee hour is back from hiatus to discuss, yes, all things certification. Before you know it, the fall certification deadline, August 20, will be upon us. So please plan to join our July coffee hour when we'll be answering any and all questions about the certification process. And please note, the coffee hour has now officially moved from Friday to Thursday. Join Sustainable CT for virtual informal discussions most third Thursdays of each month. We share program updates and resources, explore your questions, and strengthen the network of Sustainable CT champions. Yes, we do. These sessions are free, and you know that free is good and open to all. For your edification, your enlightenment, and your entertainment, too. It's The Impact, a Sustainable CT podcast. In July, Sustainable CT fellows Adrian Huck and Jackie Flaherty will be taking over the big microphone to interview collegiate movers and shakers in sustainability. Their guests will include Dylan Steer, president of Eco Husky and lead organizer with Fossil Fuel for Yukon, Amelia Kearney, communications lead at Sunrise Movement Connecticut, and Derek Faulkner from Southern Connecticut State's Office of Sustainability. This promises to be a lively and informative conversation that you won't want to miss. This month's episode of The Impact will be available on July 15th at sustainablect.org and wherever you get your podcasts. In the Community Match Fund, we're helping to provide accessible events for children with special needs. For most families, opportunities for recreation and socialization are all around. But imagine that you have a child who uses a wheelchair, or a child who is nonverbal, uses a communication device, or a child who really struggles with new places, loud sounds, and bright lights. In that case, it's much harder to participate in many activities. So here comes a series of events led by a team of special education and related professionals. A series of accessible events is collaborating with local businesses to provide a 12-month series of events that are welcoming and accessible to all children. Come on, show them some love. Make the Equity Connection. The Community Foundation for Greater New Haven is offering free community access to the Groundwater Approach, a racial equity workshop that builds an understanding of systematic racism and racial disparities through data and historical analysis. This virtual workshop is being held July 10th, 9 a.m. to noon, and will not be recorded, folks. You know, Sustainable CT and Actions and Impact, this very newsletter, and me speaking to you right now, it's all made possible in part by the Hampshire Foundation. The Hampshire Foundation funds partners who are finding pathways to rapidly reduce greenhouse gas emissions or to help people build resilience against poverty and climate change. And that's a very good thing. Visit them at hampshirefoundation.org. Remember, Sustainable CT is independently funded. We don't have a magical unicorn or rainbow money tree, no sir, but you can be a Sustainable CT sponsor. Find out how at sustainablect.org. You'll be glad you did. In conveyances this month, Jessica LeClaire takes charge at Sustainable CT. Oh, yes, she does. After an extensive search and following a heartfelt celebration of the retiring Lynn Stoddard at our spring into summer event last month, Jess has officially assumed the mantle of Sustainable CT's executive director. We're all very excited and optimistic about our new beginning under her leadership, so please do wish her well. The Connecticut Conference of Municipalities, that's CCM to you and me, has their Directory of Products and Services for 2024 now available. It is an annual purchasing guide for Connecticut's municipal officials. It features company contact information and product and service descriptions to help you spend less time searching and more time getting things done in your municipality. Read the directory on your desktop or mobile device, or you can download it too. 
The New Canaan Community Foundation welcomed four new members to its board of directors. In addition, they've also hired a new development director, Carrie Kurtz. Well, welcome aboard, Carrie. Patronicity, the crowdfunding partner of Sustainable CT's Community Match Fund, released a case study on the West Hartford Tree Project, a CMF-supported project. The West Hartford Tree Project, launched in 2020, is on a mission to preserve and restore the West Hartford area's tree canopy. Their efforts have already made a significant impact, helping to plant and distribute more than 3,800 trees. Yowza! And Governor Lamont announced that he has approved a series of state grants totaling $26.3 million. It will be used to support the remediation and redevelopment of 130 acres of contaminated land throughout Connecticut, consisting of 22 properties located in 17 towns and cities. Well, way to go, Ned! In our chronology section, where time waits for snowman. Sustainable CT is pleased to partner with Eversource Energy, United Illuminating, and the Connecticut Center for Advanced Technology's Smart Building CT program to provide energy benchmarking and tracking support to registered sustainable CT communities. Learn more about the Smart Building CT program and how it might help your municipality earn points towards Actions 7.1, Benchmark and Track Energy Use, 7.2, Reduce Energy Use Across All Municipal Buildings, and 7.4, Increase Use of Renewable Energy in Municipal Buildings. This webinar is also eligible for Certified Connecticut Municipal Official Professional Development Credit. Whoa, that's a mouthful. From the Connecticut Conference of Municipalities, July 10th, 1 to 2 p.m. The U.S. Department of Justice, Office of Environmental Justice, is hosting an Environmental Justice Strategic Plan Community Meeting on July 9th, 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection Headquarters, that's deep to you and me, in the Gina McCarthy Auditorium, 5th floor, 79 Elm Street, Hartford. That's right, this is an in-person event, folks. Are you looking to apply for an EPA Brownfields Coalition grant? Well, of course you are. Don't wait until the fall to get started. Join the Yukon Technical Assistance for Brownfields program for a webinar to help you prepare, July 10th at 10 a.m. And you can join Yukon Tab for a webinar with Miles Balog from NSAFE, discussing Brownfields to Health Fields, July 19th at 10 a.m. too, so don't miss that. Hey, the town of Groton is hiring a sustainability and resilience specialist to assist in the development and implementation of the town's climate action plan and other greenhouse gas emission reduction strategies. Very cool. Get your application in by July 12th. Kate Scapira's book on transforming our climate emotions into connection and action, Lessons from the Climate Anxiety Counseling Booth, just came out. She'll be talking about it at the David M. Hunt Library, that's no relation to me, in Falls Village at 1 p.m. on July 13th. She'll also be holding a Climate Anxiety Counseling Booth session earlier in the day, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the same site. It's an in-person event, free and open to the public. We can all use a little counseling, am I right? And the Connecticut Main Street Center is holding a Main Street Management 101 webinar. Gain an understanding of what is Main Street Management and why it is so important. Get familiar with the Main Street Management four-point approach and receive some ideas on how you can start implementing the approach into your Main Street, July 18th at 11 a.m. And we have a last word, or two, about our recent spring into summer event. It was a bittersweet moment. It had to be, really. Oh, it included a lot of sweet. A beautiful day at Wickham Park, attended by so many of our friends, colleagues, and supporters, and congratulating the many accomplishments of our sustainable communities. Old Saybrook certified gold. East Haddam achieved silver. And eight towns qualified for bronze status. A lot to celebrate indeed. But we also took the opportunity to bid farewell to the retiring Lynn Stoddard. Leader, mentor, friend. Not an entirely sad occasion by any means, because we know she's embarking on a wonderful new chapter in her life, and that she'll always be in touch, but it was a meaningful and poignant event nonetheless, and we want to thank all of you who came and participated and shared in this milestone with us. It's one for the memory book, that's for sure. And special thanks to the generous sponsors of the event, Invest Asset Management, Casella Waste Systems, and SLR Consulting. The fact is, we can't do any of what we do without all of you. And you can read all about it in this month's exciting edition of Actions and Impact, the official Sustainable CT newsletter. Except no substitutes. Do yourself a favor and subscribe. And you can do that where it'll be sweet until the bitter end at sustainablect.org.